Angkor Wat was an engineering masterpiece. Everything the Khmer had learned over hundreds of years of temple building and engineering great water projects came together in the construction of the jewel of their civilization. Most striking of all was the scale of the construction. Angkor Wat covers an area more than four times larger than the Vatican City. And this created huge challenges for Surya Varman's engineers. During the monsoon, the land becomes saturated and expands. After the monsoon, it dries out and contracts. Laterite was a core building material of all Khmer temples, stretching right back to the Rong Chen Temple in the Kulan Hills. Now it was being used to help solve the Khmer's greatest engineering challenge. How do you build high with such heavy material as the sandstone? Well, look behind the facade and what do you see? You see that it's filled with this very lightweight, porous material called laterite. It's a kind of ancient breeze block. But Richard Engelhardt thinks that the use of laterite was only part of the solution. He believes that Angkor Wat is still standing today because of the water surrounding the Great Temple. In the ideal Khmer structure, you cannot separate the building from the moat. They are inextricable. They are symbiotic and you cannot have one without the other, both in the terms of the design and the conception of what we are building and the civil engineering features of it. The construction of the moat surrounding Angkor Wat was a huge operation. It's estimated laborers removed enough silt and sand to fill the Empire State Building one and a half times. Its perimeter is over three miles and it is 650 feet wide. Then the moat fills with water. Water is heavier, it's more dense than laterite and earth. So the weight of the water is actually heavier than the weight of the materials you've taken out. Richard believes the weight of the water in the moat pushes back against the downward force of the stone temple. The moat is essential to the success of the entire structure. Without the moat, the structure could not stand. The, the two are completely part of one holistic engineering system.